One minute, 15 seconds. All third stage uh, propellants pressurized at this time as we come up on the 60-second mark on a flight to the moon. Fuel line vents just closed on the huge T-minus 60 five. seconds and counting. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. The vehicle now is completely pressurized. We're coming up on a power transfer shortly. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. We have the power transfer. We're now on the flight batteries within the launch vehicle. 45 seconds. Final reports coming from Frank Borman at this time. Final uh, look at the switch list aboard the spacecraft. 35 seconds and counting. We'll lead up to an ignition sequence start at 8.9 seconds. This will lead up as we build up the thrust to a liftoff. It all goes well at zero. We just passed the 25 second mark in the count. 20 seconds, all aspects. We are still go at this time. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Here we have ignition sequence start. And there's the flame from those five first stage engines. What a tremendous sight. The brilliant orange flame blowing out in all directions from underneath that rocket. And we have liftoff moving very, very slowly now as the base of that rocket burning brilliantly against the Florida sky moves up past the tower. The rocket has cleared the tower and there she goes on her way to the moon. There goes the Saturn V rocket taking man on his first visit to the vicinity of the moon. Seconds. This just says the F 1C, the first stage, looks good. Everything fine through the eyeball here at Cape Kennedy. That voice you hear is Paul Haney at Mission Control in Houston. Uh, Air progress is 50 seconds into the flight. All clear, very slow climb. One minute out, and Mike Collins tells the crew we're looking good. Looking good here at Cape Kennedy to the eyeball, a huge red ball of flame in the sky. The other voice is Paul Haney. One minute, and 15 seconds, and we're a little more than half a mile into the sky and about uh, nearly four miles downrange. A huge vapor trail has just started to come out from the rear end of the rocket as it climbs away from us here at Cape Kennedy. Paul Haney at Mission Control. And Mort Crim now can see from the outside the One possibility. Minute for 40 seconds. We should be getting very close to staging. All right, I can see it. It's like looking into a welder's torch to look into that brilliant flame, but it is getting dimmer now. I can still see the rocket. And pretty soon we should be having six tenths into the mission and. Uh, Frank Borman has confirmed each event as it's been passed to him by Mike Collins at this point. We now should have the engines the cutting off on the first stage. Go for staging. Go for staging. Inboard out on time, Frank Borman says. That means the, the inboard engine. engines. The engine in the middle has cut out. Two minutes, 25 seconds. The four outboard engines to stop next. A beautiful vapor trail from that Saturn V rocket. A huge, a wide vapor trail, and there it is. I saw the flight. Uh, an F-1C, the first stage cut off. S-2 has ignited, we can confirm. And I can see the first stage falling back towards and the Earth. That looks good. All engines, all sources show the second stage is burning perfectly. Two minutes, 51 seconds into the mission. We have it. Second stage has come off successfully. The rocket is now under the power of the five engines on the second stage. And the, uh, at three minutes into the flight, the range safety console has been released at the Cape. Three minutes into the flight, we're 50 miles high and about 10 miles down range. 50 miles high, and we can still see the rocket and the vapor trail. So three minutes, 25 seconds, we have uh, we have verified that the tower has jettisoned. The crew has verified the tower has jettisoned. That's the escape tower that would have rescued them had they had to abort on the ground Frank shortly Warren after says staging was smooth, and he says the ride now is even smoother. Apparently no problem from vibrations. A smooth ride.
That was an amazingly clear and an amazingly slow I mean, liftoff. Four minutes into the flight, and the communication thus far has been excellent. It's been a little sparse, but it's been quite sharp and clear.